We met, of all places, in front of Gristides, some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some Fruit Loops he dropped by the curb. And he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet. And I started to go when he said, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was, out in the cold, with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week, we went to this terrible play. And the week after that, drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly, eight or nine months had flown by. And he said, hey, what are you doing the rest of your life? bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked me all right. I saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky. And I thought of that day, and I started to cry. When as sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day saying, hey, you're allowed to move. It's okay, because I'll be here, even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater, even if you go out on my birthday this year, instead of sitting at home, letting all of life's moments pass by, you don't have to. Right now, 
John is whispering congrats in my ear. Cause I finally let myself tell you that I 